we live in a time of change and also we're, we're working in tech, we work in startups. Um, and so change is kind of the only constant for us. Whenever you're like in a fast changing environment, there is so many things happening at once and it's just very important that you don't lose your inner compass. One of the biggest determining factors for how well that change is going to go and what kind of outcomes you get from that change is going to be who's in charge. These are things that you kind of have to realize yourself through conversation, through someone who's certified and skilled in helping you to realize what your full potential is. Transitions, changes come, change is necessary and uh, coaching is there to help you through it. Having a coach helps you get feedback, have this conversation with somebody who can trust, who has a good context over time, helps you see things from a greater distance uh, and helps connect the dots. Things like Agile and Scrum and Kanban and Safe and, and OKRs. These frameworks are very often like quite rigid and like there's not much time to actually really talk about how to uh, implement them on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, but the role there and the training and the experience is how to interpret a system and help the system. Um, what we see with one-to-one -one coaching is that we give time and we give the space for each individual to become better. Um, I feel that if you can have both, it's very beneficial, but imagine what you can do if you can improve every single person that works in this team. One-on-one -on -one coaching is something that you go really into the specific situations when they happen and you really have like this this amazing other person actually that really like feels you and gives you advice and also keeps you uh, uh, yeah motivated to really like push through to find a solution. With coaching there is growth for at an individual level and if an individual grows they bring it back to the team, the team benefits and in turn the organization benefits, the business benefits and then it becomes like a highly productive loop um, and highly satisfied uh, people as well. The clients are very demanding, the projects are very fast, the technology is very fast, right? Sometimes it's really hard to, to keep up and um, coaching helps me to uh, always take a step back and breathe and think about, okay, what's really important? What do I really need to focus on? And what are the next steps? What are the most important projects? The two areas where I feel like um, coaching really, really helps specifically within product and tech scenarios are in collaboration skills. And then the other one is in consistent and constant iteration and improvement within the team, but also within the software itself. I like how introspective it is, how uh, personalized it is, because uh, it's all me, I feel. I'm just guided through a process, and I'm not uh, pushed to do anything. It's just me, like, and all the ideas and everything uh, that I come out of coaching is purely within me. What I see with coaching, because you can improve on this soft skills, this hard to develop uh, skills, especially like I developed the skills of how to talk about deeply technical topics in a simple way for non-technical people. Reflection is the main thing that coaching teaches you and then organization skills being able to organize your uh, very complex work that we receive we have the numbers to see that we have longer tenure um, so people that join Codes Hub seem to be more happy to stay longer I think you cannot have a better benefit I would profoundly recommend tech leaders to consider uh, investing in one-on-one -on -one coaching because then you invest in not, not a role, not a workshop, not some hard skills, you invest in the people. It's not just about tech, I think it's, uh, it's also making amazing professionals. Invest in coaching, um, it'll make a difference.